All right, ladies and gentlemen, how to spot a true friend, how to spot him, how to spot her, or how to spot them. <laughs> it's not a very easy task because sometimes time can reveal true colors of people who you thought that they were your friends, who you thought were your best friends sometimes. Or maybe you thought they were good people. But when time comes, uh, their true faces are revealed. Okay. I'll just check the audio connection if it's fine. Okay, great. So there are many ways you can do this. But primarily there are two ways. And these are like shortcuts. So the first way by which you can identify who is your friend is. What happens if you give them a good news? Something nice has happened in your life. How do they react? Whenever you give them the news. Now, here's, here's the catch. Suppose you don't have a job. You tell them I've got a job. Now, if they are very happy that you've got a job or you're getting married or you know, you're having childbirth or whatever, you got a car or house or home or whatever. No, ideally, if they are very happy to hear it, then you know they are they are probably your friend. But here's a catch. There's a catch here. <laughs> so, if the thing that you have achieved in your life is already there in that person's life, and then they become happy, they may necessarily still not be your friend. If you get something which they absolutely value, which they really want, and they don't have it, and this is exactly what you get, and you tell them, how do they react? If they are happy in that case, then they are definitely your friend. Because in the materialistic society that we live in, People only like to see you succeeding, but less than them. Should I repeat? People like you to succeed, but less than them. If you have succeeded more than somebody and still they like you or appreciate you, then you know mm, they are your genuine friends. So if you have such people, then write it down in the comments. You may take their name or you may say when you may met them or who they are, your school friend, childhood friend or whoever. And a good friend also has a very big ability to listen to your good news. If they listen to your good news and they appreciate you rather than making it about themselves, so, for example, you go to them and say, oh, I got this job. They ask you, oh, what's your salary? And then you say, okay, my salary is you know, 5 lakhs per annum. And then they say, oh, yeah, that's good. Not bad. You can, uh, maybe you can try for a promotion next year. You know, and then maybe you can try for some job change. They may say something like this. Or what they may try to do is, if, if they are crooked actually, if, if they are like not your friends, what they will try to do is, if you give them good news, they will try to prove it to you somehow that it's not a very big achievement to get this in life. For example, if you tell them, oh, I'm getting married, for example. And then if they say, oh, yeah, yeah, good, congratulations. But what about your profession? What about your career? Did you get the promotion? So what they're trying to do is they, they're envious of you. And because of that, they're trying to highlight some deficiency in your life. Or it could be the other way around. You say you, you got a job and then they will say, oh, that's good, congratulations. But when you are getting married. So this word, but is a very big word. It has the power to nullify anything that is said prior to it. So I say, I respect you, but 
you are so stupid <laughs> in kali yuga one of the most frequently used phrases is uh, with due respect and then they will say something like this, with due respect you are such an idiot <laughs> which which is like you know with due respect but you are such an idiot so if they upon hearing the good news if they are trying to highlight some deficiency which somehow by destiny is not happening in your life so suppose you got a promotion but you are not getting married and you are of age around 28 30 around that age and suppose that person is married and then that person is digging in then you know that person is not your friend so if you can share good news and something which you got which they don't have and which they desperately value that they desperately need how do they react or do they become morose when you give them the good news as i said if they become morose then they are right out of way outwardly dismissed but even if they are happy you have to see is it something which they already have then they may not mind but if that is something which they don't have and they want and they become unhappy or they try to prove some something uh, is still missing in your life in some other area of life which has absolutely nothing to do with that uh, area or that good news and they try to highlight that again and again well then you know this person is your potential enemy because this person is envious envious like snakes <laughs> all right what is the second symptom second symptom is the the exact opposite when you give them bad news how do they react so when you say oh you know i lost my job so is there like some celebration in their eyes subtly not not that they will show it <laughs> if they are your genuine friend uh, then they will hear it and then they will uh, feel sad for you because one of the uh, traits of a great personality of a mahajan is para dukha dukhi okay that is very difficult to be uh, unhappy by seeing others unhappy it's very difficult it's a very highly elevated stage materialistic people can at best be para sukha sukhi which means okay you see somebody happy you are happy for them but but again provided it's less than yours <laughs> and then there is you know mostly materialistic people are para sukha dukhi <laughs> which means when others become happy they become unhappy right you can see that in social media the moment you post something good people are you know vomiting all all nonsense all the time in fact you know there was a lady you know like she was a model she posted and i was seeing her post one day people are saying oh you know i mean all sorts of things you can imagine right so some other time <laughs> so one is para sukha sukhi one is para sukha dukhi <laughs> and materialistic people definitely are para dukha sukhi which means they are very happy to see others miserable but there are very few who are para dukha dukhi so we should aspire to be in category 1 and category 4 which is para sukha sukhi and para dukha dukhi we are happy when others are happy we are unhappy when others are unhappy now when you come and give them a bad news what do they do do they celebrate it by by telling you something like okay no problem you know it's fine or you know or or, or they will somehow try to twist it and make you feel more miserable then yeah that person is your enemy but if that person is trying to console you and saying uh, giving you some hope no problem you know it happens with others also it's fine you will come out of it or sometimes does this person get into competition with you to prove that they are more miserable than you oh 
you lost one leg, you know, my X, Y, Z lost two legs. Yes, there are people who do this. And this is basically a product of self-obsession. So they are so obsessed that they do not have the patience to hear you. And because of that, what happens is they always make the thing about themselves. So when you share something good, they will make it about themselves. When you share something bad, they will again make it about themselves. So this is how you can identify if somebody is actually your friend. And the moment you sense some jealousy, if they're very happy when you share some bad news, if there's like a dint of celebration in their eyes, their eyes lit up. Oh, finally, this person is cool. <laughs> then, well, these people are like snakes. You've got to distance yourself from them. And the easiest way to identify these crooks is they are never happy in life. They are always complaining, grieving, crying, blaming. They do not like happiness because they are so miserable. Whenever they see somebody happy, they cannot tolerate it. It's beyond level of tolerance for these people. So they can never be friends because they can never listen. To be a friend, you need listening capacity if you do not have that. Well, you'll just make acquaintances and you'll just be miserable and you will just spend the rest, rest of your life. And at the end of your life, you will be in your deathbed alone without any company and you will die miserably. All right. So do not be in, in that category. Listen to others. Share your story, but also listen to others and understand that we should be happy when others are happy and we should be unhappy when others are unhappy. Not the other way around. Okay? Not that we are very unhappy when others are happy and we are uh, rejoicing when somebody is miserable. Okay. Thank you so much for your patience. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is always unhappy or maybe who is always happy. <laughs> Or maybe who is genuinely your friend, who you think is genuinely your friend. Share this video with them and write it down in the comments. Uh, express your gratitude towards them and uh, beg forgiveness from them if you have done something wrong. Or forgive them if they have done something bad to you. It always happens. You know, nobody is perfect. Okay. Thank you very much once again. And if you... Want a consultation from me regarding your horoscope? My website is down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him as a friend. And Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, he is Suri the Sarva Bhutanam. He is the most well-wishing friend of every living entity. Okay. Bhuktaram Yagya Tapasam Sarva Lokamaheshwaram Suridam Sarva Bhutanam Gyatva Mam Shantim Ruchati. Can anybody please translate? <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow.